Johnson Controls Technology and Building Management Systems. Hello, welcome to this Easy IO How to video. In this video, we are going to make a complete backup of the FS controller. We are going to reset the FS controller to factory settings, and we are going to restore the complete backup we made. We can do all this with the browser, so without the CPT tool. We will first log in to the FS controller with the browser. We go to Utilities and click on Backup. The name of the backup can be changed, by default the name is the current date. Optionally, the SQL database can also be added to the backup. This backup is placed on the 8GB flash memory of the controller, after which it is placed in the download folder of the computer by clicking on Download. A factory reset does nothing with the firmware, it remains what it is. This controller has firmware version 3.0b57. Now we did our preparation, so let's move on to our FS controller. Resetting the controller is easier without the cover, so we remove it by unscrewing the two screws on the corners. First press the reset button, then immediately press the service button. Keep pressing the service button until the red error LED starts flashing. When the red error LED flashes, we press the service button again, after which the controller is set to factory settings, so it is completely empty. The IP address has also been set to default, this is 192.168.10.12. Before we can log into the FS controller, we must set the IP range of the laptop to the IP range of the controller. To do this, go to Network and Internet Settings, and then Change Adapter Options, and change the IP4 address of the Ethernet adapter to something in the same range as the controller. For example, 192.168.10.10.0. If the computer is in the same IP range as the FS controller, we can log into the controller again with the browser, this with the default IP address, 192.168.10.12. The default user is admin, and the default password is hello CPT. As indicated earlier, a factory reset does nothing with the firmware. The firmware is still version 3.0b57. Now we can restore the complete backup to the controller. Go to Utilities. As you can see, the backup which was on the flash memory before the factory reset is gone. So we need to upload the backup from the computer to the flash memory of the controller. It's just drag and drop. Then click Upload. After the upload, the backup is back on the flash memory of the FS controller. And we can restore it.
After this, our project is back to what it was before the factory reset. Now I put the controller back to DHCP setting to get it back into the network. After this, reset the controller once, and now you can log in again at the new IP address of the FS controller. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Johnson Controls Technology and Building Management Systems.